On this adventure, I'm with my mate Sean on a five day pack hunt in the back country of Victoria, Australia. We're on the hunt for an animal that's not only smart, skittish, and extremely elusive. It truly is a beast, it is a Samba stag. Samba deer came to Australia from India in the late 1800s. They evolved around tigers and to say they are nervous is an understatement. To outsmart one of these guys, you need to be prepared, you need to be patient, and you need a little bit of luck. We're in tough terrain, with a heavy pack, with limited rations. We're camping in the bush, with our rifle and rod, with only one thing on our mind, hunting a Samba stag of a lifetime. Stick around guys, and let's see if we can pack out some meat and bring home a trophy we'll never forget. When most people think of the remote Alpine country of Victoria, what usually comes to mind is snow resorts, pristine lakes, and a rich history of discovering gold. But what comes to my mind is hopefully catching a glimpse of a big 30 inch Samba stag. And for me, that'd be just as good as discovering gold. We made our descent down a long and steep track that was a few kilometers. Going down wasn't too bad, but we knew the walkout was gonna test us, especially if we had to pack out a big stag as well. We crossed the river, set up camp, and found a face we wanted to glass. We sat there for the rest of the afternoon, hoping to see something. It was starting to get to this point where it was too dark to see, but luckily we managed to lock onto four hinds and a big stag behind them. He's not bad, man. He's not bad at all. He's not a monster by any means, but he would be, oh, he'd have to be 24, 25, have to be. In 20s, man, that's a, that's a good stag. We glassed the last light and made the plan to stay on this face and hope the big boy gives us an opportunity to take a shot. Spot on as well with your height, you're like, yeah, no, they're gonna be about there. <laughs> He's not bad, he's not bad at all. That's fucking way better than mine. Days turned into night, night into day. Each day started blurring into one.
Goddamn! Hey, how is that? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Whoa. Hey. First trout ever. Look at the size of that. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome, bro. Oh. Hey. <laughs> We have a fire and we're gonna cook him up for lunch, mate. It's gonna be so bloody good. How good is this? <laughs> yes! Oh, my first freshwater fish ever. Unreal. I haven't been able to shoot a samba deer, but mate, this is, uh, this is pretty cool too, so. We wrapped this brown trout in our full and baked him over the fire with the chopped onion. Now I have to admit, by this point my legs were pretty sore, and if the onion I had packed contributed to the way I was feeling in any way by adding extra weight to my bag, it was bloody worth it. That fresh fish with an onion was so delicious and the perfect morale booster to finish this hunt strong. Here we are, last morning of the hunt. Found a stag first morning, spotted him up. Last morning, 659 meters, shot him straight through the lungs. Let's get him out. That is a set of antlers. Yo, beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, walked up this bloody big hill to find this bloody big deer. <laughs> we overshot him. <laughs> Hold him up, mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How good is that? He's a big boy. Here he is, mate. Hold him up. Great work, bro. What a hunt, mate. 660 meters. Oh, mate. <laughs> this is un buddy believable, mate. I tell you what, we lived on a week, for a whole week. We lived there, on that hill. Last day, last morning. I can send it one shot done. Smoke him. He's on the other side, I reckon. Let's see if it come out. Hey, bro. Okay. 
We took his back straps and boned out his back legs. In a perfect world, every part of him would have been used, but we were a day's walk out and already overloaded. I take pride in the fact that we took as much meat as we possibly could. There's one. Strap number two. Buddy, camp's all packed up. We are literally gonna drag all this shit up the hill of death. <laughs> I can honestly say this trip was the hardest thing I've ever done. It tested me physically and mentally. I can say I'm a better person for it though. As I get older, I long for adventures like these. My body craves it. Being in nature with the goal of catching a fish or hunting a deer. You hope the end result is a trophy and some amazing meat you've got by getting off your ass and working for it. This is what life is all about to me, and hopefully this is something I can do with my kids one day when they come of age. What an unbelievable experience, being out here, in the bush, with a great mate, and achieving the ultimate goal we set out for. Knowing we are bringing food oh, back fuck. to our families and a great trophy for the wall. This is definitely a trip I will never forget. And I tell you what guys, how lucky are we to live in Australia? We have like, we have three and a half kilometers up this bloody mountain. Oh man, I'll tell you what, oh, I'm dripping. Oh. This is some of the hardest work I've ever had to do. Oh. How you feeling there big boy? We're only three calls away out, mate. Like five hundred meters from the Ute, mate. <laughs> Fucking ninety percent up. <laughs> Hardest walk out. It is. It is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Get that camera out of my fucking face, man. <laughs> 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 <laughs>